Now he introduces another sensational subject. And he says again in verse 18 here, he says, Little children, it is the last time. Little children. And here we have again this expression. And little children, it's the last time. And the word that's translated little children here is just a little different from the word that's translated little children back in verse 12. There it was a term of affection and implies all that are born into God's family, God's little born ones, little barns as the Scottish term is, all his dear children. But these dear children, as we've seen, are of different degrees of spiritual experience. And they're divided into three classes. Fathers at the top, they're a young man, and they're little babies. Now he's talking here to the little babies again. These are the little babies. They haven't grown up yet. They're passing through this world, and the chances are they've been tripped up by one of these three things that cause Christians to be tripped up. Now he says, little children, it's the last time. You and I are living, actually, in the last days here on the earth. It's been the last time for a long time. This is the age in which he's calling out a people to his name. And you could say at any time during this period, now is the acceptable time. Today, if you'll hear his voice, why that? Why the urgency about salvation? Because, friends, you might not be here tomorrow. I might not be on this radio tomorrow. It just might be we won't be around. So it's important for me to give out the Word. It's important for you to hear the Word. Now we have brought before us here Antichrist. Listen to him. Little children, it's the last time. And as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many... Antichrist, by which we know that it is the last time. Now, many Antichrists had already appeared, but there is coming the Antichrist. Now, what do you mean by Antichrist? And I think that this word has been misunderstood, and as a result, the person who's coming is misunderstood. And I'm going to run ahead here for just a few moments to look at this. Antichrist is made up of two words, a preposition, anti, and also Christ. Here it's very important to see that anti has two meanings. It can mean against. Anti, we think of it as meaning against something. I'm anti something. Well, that means I'm against something. And then anti can also mean instead of. It can be a substitute, therefore. It can be a very good substitute or just a subterfuge for something. It means in place of, an imitation of. So the question arises, is Antichrist a false Christ? Or is he an enemy of Christ? Where is the emphasis placed? Now, here in 1 John, and there are several references to it, I read again, "'Little children, it's the last time, and as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists, by which we know that it is the last time.'" Now, the only thing that we can arrive at from this statement is that there is going to be an Antichrist, but already in his day, that is John's day, there were many Antichrists. Now, what was the thing that identified an Antichrist? Well, it was one who denied the deity of Christ, and that's the primary definition of Antichrist that we have in 1 John, because we'll pick that up when we get down to verse 22. 
And I think probably I'll run a little farther ahead and say this, that that is the emphasis here. But you will recall that the Lord Jesus said, Many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, Antichrist, instead of Christ. They'll claim to be Christ. Now, I personally believe that there are going to be two persons at the end of the age that will fulfill both of these types. There will be, and Scripture presents it that way. In the 13th chapter of Revelation, and I'm running ahead now, you have a beast, a wild beast that comes out of the sea, and Satan is the one that calls him forth. That is the political ruler, and he is definitely against Christ. Now there's a second beast. He comes out of the land, and he appears to be a lamb, but he's a wolf, a wolf in sheep's clothing. He pretends to be Christ, who is the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. He will be a religious ruler. The political rulers coming out of the Gentile world, the former Roman Empire. And the religious ruler will come out of the nation Israel. They wouldn't accept him as their Messiah unless he did. So that you have actually two that fulfill this term, Antichrist. And he's coming, I probably ought to say they're coming at the end of the age, and both of them can be called Antichrist, one against Christ and the other instead of Christ. Now, I've run ahead. When we get to these passages, I'll develop them farther. But I must 